In logic, we lack infrastructures. People do not communicate and take advantage of each other's skill sets. If we had better infrastructures and better communication, this might change and people could improve the village by co combining each other's talents. You can develop everything and you can do their hard work for the village for the, in the development work, for construction work, just like roads. They can make an health and sanitation, they can make some mm, new establishment of health and sanitation works. If our youth received good training in the village, it would be more likely that they would stay in Nepal and did not go abroad for employment. If government and the people in the village would create a program for community involvement, it would reduce people, especially youth, leaving the country to go to work abroad. This would also help the community and speed the development of the entire village. This is why youth can be extremely important. They can help to develop the village and its community. Youth are often involved in building roads and temples. Youth should be given better technical education as it would help them to do more for the country. In Lahatsuk, as I am also involved in the small goat farming, and we have four partners, youth four partners, and we are just developing a goat farm there in our own locality, uh, in our own grassland. And just like ours, many people, many youth are involved in agriculture, just like horticulture and horticulture, floriculture, and also they are using the uh, main powers for construction works, just like in house making. I'm not involved in any businesses as I am a student. I'm a science student, which makes it hard for me to be involved as I only can help in science related issues. I do believe though that youth should be involved in businesses as it helps their future and it helps to develop the village itself. Youth development programs should be coordinated better and technical education should be provided for the youth. Youths, they are in great confusion in Nepal. What to do in the country? Because they lack fund capital uh, and in Nepal there are also very few opportunities and as I, as I have found here, most of the youths are in dilemma. What to do in the country or either to go abroad or for unemployment or work in the country. And for while we are giving trainings so like uh, yeah, one skilled one trainings, then they can be good skilled manpower in Lahatsu. They can do whatever they have skilled. Just like one, whenever one's uh, learn computer, then he can teach the computer for another one in institute. There's one example. Main money was a, uh... Transportation is the other important aspect which needs to be developed in Lahajok so that youth can move around. Technical education and agricultural education are important for the, youth, for the youth as well. If youth were educated better, they could revolutionize the way the village deals with agriculture. This should be done by giving youth contemporary training on chance changes that are happening in the field of agriculture. If youth were given better education in a variety of fields, it would improve our chances to move higher in our community. Well, uh, involvement of youth in community work is prominent. And uh, one of the problems of our country is unemployment. And many of the youths have gone abroad for foreign employment. And, uh, in such a situation, uh, youth getting involved in community work becomes so effective so that uh, youth uh, can, I guess, okay, feeling uh, to work in their own nation, to develop their own nation. Uh, yes, beside this, if youths are involved in community work, they can be responsible 
for the development of their community.